Morning world, it's about 10.15 a.m. on Wednesday the 16th of May 2019. So I'm going to be having a look at Pluto Midheaven aspects today, but before I do, I'm just going to have a little bit of a rant, okay, because you know me, I'm a mild mannered, gentle kind of guy, a bit of an environmentalist, ever so slightly left of centre. I'd like to think of myself as sort of pro women's rights, pro environmental issues. I wouldn't describe myself as right wing. And I do support every institution, group, organisation, country that fights against intolerance, racism, abuse, fascism, and particularly fundamentalism. And I fully support every country that's leading the fight against fundamentalism, particularly the US of A because I've got a lot of good friends over there, I've got a lot of supporters over there, and I think the USA is in the forefront of fighting fundamentalism across the world. Except in its own backyard. And here I relate to the state of Alabama. There are 35 people who run the place in Alabama, of whom four are women. And yesterday, there was a vote, I think it was 26 to 6, and the 25 to 6 people of those 35, a few abstained, all weren't there, voted to criminalise abortion, to put doctors in prison for 99 years if they performed abortion, including rape victims, incest victims, and children who have been raped and made pregnant. They can no longer get an abortion in Alabama. The people who made this ruling were exclusively male, and I believe, I'm not sure on this, but I think they were exclusively white. Sirs, to the male representatives of the Alabama leadership, you are a disgrace to your gender. You really are and you're going to be voted out of your office. It's not in my place to really get too deeply involved in another country's politics, but this is something that goes beyond political parties. This is something that affects 50% of the women in the world. There are only 21 countries in the world where abortion is still illegal. And if America has this, or if the Alabama group of Americans have their way, America will become the 22nd. This is just so wrong. It has to be a woman's right to choose. Why are men telling women whether they can or cannot have a baby? Now, someone in the Alabama Congress yesterday proposed an alternative vote that all men should have vasectomies. And of course, this was defeated. Speaking of someone who had a vasectomy 25 years ago. Um, I'll just repeat it one more time, then I'll get on with the astrology. These men, these white male men, are a disgrace to their gender. Right, Pluto midheaven aspects. Pluto deals with death and rebirth, perhaps poignant, well, in context of what I've just said. Pluto deals with transformation, regeneration, phoenix rising, obsessive, intense, compulsive and extreme cases of trauma. Um, Pluto also deals with purging, detoxing, cleansing, purifying and eliminating. The midheaven, the middle of the heavens, the highest point of the sun's orbit at the moment of birth. Wherever you are in the northern hemisphere, it is the position of the sun around midday between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Wherever you are in the southern hemisphere, it is the position of the sun around mid-11 a.m. to midday looking north, as in the northern hemisphere you look south. The middle of the heavens, the high point of the sun's orbit, regardless of what time of day you are born or what latitude or time zone you are in. The midheaven stands for three separate things. It stands for all systems of authority. This can be parent or parents, often but not always male. It can be God or whatever form of secular or non-secular authority you choose to let have power in your life. 
It can be all systems of authority, father, teacher, God, employer, the state, the police, the law. The Midheaven is also a lot to do, as, as Midheaven is the start of the 10th house in 38 of the 39 different house systems. So the Midheaven will stand for the 10th house attributes such as job, work, career, goals and ambition. The position of the Midheaven according to sign and aspect will often dictate the type of work that you're naturally and organically drawn towards. The Midheaven also stands for public image, profile, status, visibility, the way you market, project and push yourself into and onto the outside world as being. Pluto conjunct the Midheaven people well, the positive ones make their success the success of others and they can become very instrumental in organising, coordinating and facilitating large groups of people. They can become excellent leaders, politicians, CEOs, people who um, work in a way that benefits a lot of other people. Alternatively, they can become so ruthless, so dedicated to their own personal success that they walk on the backs of others to get to their own success. And only when they get there and get what they thought they wanted, do they realize that A, they didn't want what they've got and B, they're all alone because no one likes them because they're so ruthless. Pluto conjunct them in heaven needs to use its incredible stamina, its very public drive and capacity for almost well, certainly dogmatic, borderline obsessive capacity for focus, concentration and study in a way that not only benefits themselves, but benefits the whole group or environment that they're working in, with and around. Pluto opposite the Midheaven has the almost opposite point. Pluto opposite the Midheaven people will, will work in the background. They will be very much behind the scenes. Uh, they will not be seeking to claim fame or recognition or acknowledgement. They'll be happy just to do things in the background, working in a way that's behind the scenes, invisible almost, and just creates results. Rarely do these people step into the outside world. They're much better at working from home. There can be, with Pluto on or opposite the midheaven, really difficult relationships or borderline abusive relationships with one or both of the parents. One or both of the parents can be absent. There can be major problems with authority issues or control issues with one of the parents. Similarly, Pluto square the midheaven can also be very difficult when it comes to understanding the dynamics of childhood and trying to get an objective perspective on how the individual's childhood was and why it was the way it was. Rarely do these people grow up in a quiet, stable, conventional home life. Often there's a degree of trauma which forces them to become independent from an early age, which is why many of them go on to be so successful because they are driven and they know they are alone, not lonely, but alone. Thus they become successful by their own efforts. Pluto trying the midheaven is a lovely aspect. It brings the ability to attract the resources you need. It brings the ability to share resources and make one's success the success of others. It gives a good attachment to values in a way which is not greedy and possessive, but has a common sense grounded down to earth approach to value system. It also gives a capacity for effectiveness, efficiency, focus and concentration in the work environment. And Pluto sextile the midheaven is lovely. It gives a kind of deep drive towards pushing oneself into the outside world in a way that is seen as being uh, not time wasting, not energy wasting, very, very clear around one's motives, ambitions and goals, the reasons why one is doing things. It's a lovely aspect. It also gives an understanding of the real values of what empowers the world. These are the people who never have trouble attracting the resources they need if they're using it for the right reason. Pluto with the midheaven can take you to heaven and it can take you to hell. If you make your success the success of others also, you will be extraordinarily successful. And if you make your success just your own success and try and be in control all the time, you may succeed. 
but you'll be very alone. And um, we all need people around us. Okay, that's Pluto on the Midheaven. Hope it helps. Bye.